welcome back to a new video. So you read the title and yes, I hate armor in multiplayer games. Of course I mean normal multiplayer games are not battle royale since a battle royale without armor doesn't really work. But let's start by talking about what types of armor are there in video games and what type I actually dislike. The first type and probably the most commonly known is the halo armor. You spawn in with it, you lose armor when you take damage and if you survive the fight the armor slowly starts regenerating until it's back at 100%. Important to note here with Halo Armor is that it's a basic feature for every player, so it functions more like your normal HP in a Call of Duty game for example. Since we are talking about Call of Duty, let's talk about Armor in Court. The first time Call of Duty added armor to the game was back in 2011 with the release of Modern Warfare 3 as a purchasable equipment in its survival mode. The armor functioned as a basic HP boost of 250 extra hit points It could be replenished when damaged or when completely used up, you could buy a new set. It was also available as a support rig in multiplayer where you basically threw a bag of armor on the ground and then everybody could come pick it up and have some extra HP. We got the next iteration of armor in 2018 with the release of Black Ops 4. Of course, armor was a big part of the Black Ops 4 Battle Royale Blackout But since I want to focus more on armor in your normal multiplayer match, I will skip over Blackout and talk about the armor that you could equip as a gear in multiplayer. Armor was one of the multiple gear options online, providing damage reduction to its user until it was destroyed at the cost of slower movement speed. The armor could not be replenished or repaired, meaning once the armor was gone, you had to respawn to get a new one. The next time we saw armor implemented in a Call of Duty multiplayer was in Black Ops Cold War as a killstreak reward. Once you got the streak and equipped the plate, the armor reduces the damage taken until the armor's HP of 150 are completely used up. Of course we also had armor plates in Warzone and we also had different types of armor like in Black Ops 3 with the kinetic armor for example. But for one, the armor in Warzone is needed since it's a battle royale. And in Black Ops 3 the kinetic armor functioned a little bit different than normal armor, so I decided to leave them out of the discussion. The last game that I personally played that added armor to its multiplayer is Battlefield 2042. And 2042 is also the game that made me want to make this video. So how does armor function in 2042? Pretty simple. You choose armor in your loadout when you play the assault class and once you spawn in you get two plates to equip one at a time. The armor provides you with an extra 20 HP, what doesn't sound like a lot but usually leads to the enemy needing one more shot to kill you. Also, armor can be resupplied from ammo crates. The important part to note with Battlefield's version is that the armor works like an increase in health rather than a damage reduction like it did in Black Ops 4 and Cold War. Also, the armor only covers the spots that an armor plate in real life would cover. So only the upper body is protected while headshots and leg shots directly damage the player's health. But this was also like this in Call of Duty. Now that we got the basics down, what is actually my problem with armor and how would I implement it to make it at least somewhat fair slash less frustrating as an enemy. Also, I will mainly focus on 2042 since I think armor got implemented in the worst possible way here. My first problem in 2042 stems from its availability. It takes no effort to acquire nor do you have any downsides from running it and you get two of them. Some might say it's a downside since you can't equip C5 or Claymores or the explosive launcher but here's the thing. When I equip an armor plate, I'm confident I can win at least two gunfights with ease every time I spawn in and even more as, as long as I resupply them. While it's true that I can get a lot more kills with a well placed C5 or explosive launcher shot, the reality is that even the best players don't get two or more kills on average with those equipments. My second problem stems from its visibility. The only thing telling you that the enemy wears armor is a change of color in your hit marker. No visual difference between a player that has armor equipped and a player that doesn't. In Black Ops 4 you could tell just by looking at the enemy and in Cold War you had an extra health bar over the enemy's normal health bar that showed you that the enemy was wearing armor and how much armor was remaining. Having no visual differences between a player that wears armor and doesn't wear armor makes your decision making on the field quite hard. If, for example, you just shot a few people and you are left with four bullets in your gun and you see someone running towards you, 
you now have to make a decision. Do I have enough confidence in my aim to kill this guy with my last 4 bullets or do I fall back to reload or switch to my secondary? Now let's say you decide to take the fight with your remaining 4 bullets and you hit all of them but oh well. He was wearing armor so he survives and kills you. Does this feel fair? I would argue it doesn't, since nothing told you that you will lose the fight. In Call of Duty, I would instantly realize that the enemy wears armor and make the right move to fall back or switch guns, but here in 2042 I always have to gamble on my bullets either being enough or not, and this just shouldn't happen in an online FPS. My last problem stems from its inconsistent TTK. Surprise surprise, when the enemy has more health than normal, your TTK becomes longer, who would have thought? But I still think it's an issue, especially when combined with my first two problems. Making armor so easily accessible and also not showing the player if an enemy wears armor or not until you shoot them makes the experience even worse. I think most people can agree that losing a gunfight because the enemy just had more HP than you sucks and will always feel frustrating. But how can we fix those issues? The main two problems I would like to fix are the availability and the visibility. I think that if you fix these two problems, problem number three is no longer that much of a concern. Of course, removing armor in general would be the best option, but this won't happen, at least not in 2042. Of course, I hope going forward we will no longer see armor on Battlefield, but who knows. So, let's start with the easiest fix. Visibility. Either make a model representing an extra layer of armor like they had in Black Ops 4, or simply put a bar over the enemy's head showing you that he wears armor. Both options are fine, both together would be even better, but if I can only choose one, I would prefer an extra model like in Black Ops 4. This makes it easier to read, even for new players when someone looks heavily armored compared to the rest. To fix the problem of availability, we have a few options. The most basic fix would be to move armor to a higher player level, so less people have access to it. The problem with this solution is, that this is just a bandage fix, since yes, we will see armor get less usage, not a lot of people have access to it, at least in the beginning. But over the game's life cycle, most people will unlock it anyway, so we have the same problem, it just happens later. Another option would be to make it a low tier kill streak, like it was in Call of Duty, where, for example, you get one played every five kills or something. Of course, this can't be implemented in a battlefield, since we don't have any kill streaks in battlefield. At least not yet. I don't want to know what DICE has planned for the next battlefield, but let's hope killstreaks aren't part of the plan. But back to the topic. Armor fundamentally should be used as a defensive item to grant the player more survivability in certain situations. The current problem is that everybody can just put on armor, have more HP and basically win gunfights for free. And that's frustrating for the enemy. Now, what I would like to see is to make armor more of a perk in terms of when somebody does a special action, he gets armor slash a health buff. So what I was thinking about was that in Battlefield 5 we had class perks for the medic for example. If you pinged your teammate that was down that you were coming to revive him, you would actually gain more movement speed while running in his direction. And I think we should do around the same thing with armor, make it a class perk for medics if we want to keep it in game. So here's how I would do it. Currently in Battlefield you have a problem this, that a lot of people are just not reviving. The medics see you and they just ran off to god knows where. So what I would like to see is that armor gets removed from the sword and you as a medic get a health boost every time you revive somebody. So for example if you see somebody lying at the floor that needs to arrive and you go to him, the moment you interact with him and pull out your defib to revive him, you gain 20 more HP, meaning that if somebody tries to shoot you while you are reviving, you survive a little bit longer. This would for one, motivate medics to revive more and also would remove the frustration from over health. Since while you are reviving and you have the HP boost, you can't shoot back boss. The moment you stop reviving, I think the game should just remove the HP from you. Or if you get off a successful revive, maybe the game finds a way to have your over health decay over like two or three seconds to reward you for a successful revive. This implementation of armor would not only fix the problem of visibility and accessibility, but it would also fix the frustration people have of fighting somebody with more health than them, since 
while the, the medic has more HP than them, they can't fight back and shooting on a target that can't fight back even if the target has more HP than you do is nowhere near as frustrating or I would even go as far as to say for like 99% of the player base they wouldn't even realize that the medic now has suddenly takes a bullet more to kill than usual. I know this sounds a lot like I would like Battlefield to become an MMORPG but that's not the case since in Battlefield 4 we had a certain perk selection where there was one perk where you would take 10% less damage if you got shot in the chest and this is basically the same but this time it's not you get 10% damage reduction when you get shot in the chest but you just have more HP when you revive somebody. Of course this is just something I came up with on the spot. There are probably many more ways you could change armor to make it less frustrating or more fun to engage with. So now I'm interested in hearing what you have to say about this topic. Do you enjoy armor in your video games or rather do you enjoy armor in your normal multiplayer shooters? If so why and if not also why and how would you change armor if given the opportunity to change this? Let me know down in the comments below. If you watched this video this far, why not hit the subscribe button since you obviously seem to enjoy my content. Anyways, thank you very much for watching, don't forget to hit the like button on your way out and I see you in the next one.